So I'll wait a moment for, uh, well, I have a story. I still have a st today's story, which was in addition to that. So let's say it. And I don't remember what, I, what it was that I prepared just today. Oh, it's another heavy story. Okay, I'll say this one. So the Reb Zalman Duchman, it's a shorter one, also heavy. Reb Zalman Duchman is relating. His Zayder often said, that's Reb Motre uh, Yoel, often said that a Rebbe is in the likeness of heaven, but Dugma Shal His life parallels what's happening above. So he says, he illustrates this. The Zayder said, no, no. So the Zalman Duchman says, and he saw this, of course, what do you mean he saw it? He relates in Leningrad, right after Sukkot, it was, he says, 1925. Rebchatcha Fagin, who was a legendary figure in Lubavitch, Mashpia, and mentor, and was uh, murdered by the Nazis, uh, I'm sorry, shot by the, by the, by the communists. So Rebchatcha Fagin told me he said that I went after Sukkot, I went to speak to the Rebbe about the yeshiva, matters of the yeshiva. Meaning the Fidika Rebbe. Fidika Rebbe said, I cannot talk now about Tempchit Mimim. Things in a state of toihu, chaos. And after Shabbos Breshis, the beginning of Pashas Noyach and, and Avram's birth, then we'll discuss. Why? Because then Shabbos Breshis, Sibhaster Shabbos Breshis is Makif and Shabbos Breshis is toihu creation. And therefore he's not able, he's, he's living with this. He's not able then to discuss the matters on this level of minutia and detail that we need to do. It has to wait till we get to Noyach and, and Avram who begin the orderly Aveda, the orderly divine service of spreading godliness in the world. All right, friends.